unload that thing on the uh, trailer here and then haul her down south. Brad's just getting into the hole to grab and roll it. We tried to roll it over to get it onto the straps. Too big for me. That thing has got to be about an eight foot diameter. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we are, eight feet high. So here we go. So that's a 250 hole. I think what we're gonna do is lift up the, lift it up and put some straps underneath, I think. I think that's what we're after. I'll have to help and put the camera down. Don't have a tripod yet, like any idiot. I should have had one 100 years ago. It's stable enough? So I posted you unloading the cat, so you're already a YouTube superstar, huh? I'm gonna go ask him where he wants me to be. Where do you want me to be as far as guiding you in? Right in the back there. Okay. Set her in place and then hold her down with five straps, is what he said. This is not a very heavy load, but it's fairly big. He's a good operator. Sorry, I'm watching with my eyes instead of the camera because that's my real job. I think we need to come on the back more. Okay, that's straight there. Okay, swing down and get the thing undone. Okay, maybe come a little closer to the trailer. Okay. Okay, so he puts the hole on the wash pad, that's the next thing for it. 
This thing I've thrown the five straps over. I'm gonna strap them all down and roll up the other big uh, straps here. What we did to get them out of there is we hooked them on the thumb of the hole, then just pulled them sideways out from underneath the machine. So, so now we'll hook up the other straps and then uh, pull up these other ones and be good to go. All fun and all enjoyable. In the meantime, I didn't get any. I wonder if you can see me. Probably not. Who cares? Well, I guess we'll edit it out if you can't. In the meantime, I was going to get some firewood cut today. But uh, I couldn't get the conveyor motor started. It's an old Briggs and Stratton engine. And water in the car, in the tank from the rain and all that crap. But I also couldn't get any spark. So I uh, swung it. I got called into work to haul this culvert down south. So then I uh, swung by Highline and grabbed a new spark plug from those guys. And then Probably get some firewood process tomorrow. I set up that new uh, wagon or hay wagon type thing as a log table. So hopefully I'll post that one first so it makes sense to you what I'm talking about. And then go from there. So if I have a chance, I'll video this when we unload, but I have no idea what to expect when I get there. I don't know what kind of project or who's there or what happens. So talk to you later. Okay, here I go. Did a walk around, know where I'm going. At least I think I do. Hit the road. So I brought the culvert down here. They're doing the culvert exchange at some point. Looks like they're doing the prep. It's an eight foot wide culvert. like they're putting in some kind of dam there that kind of steel stuff that slides together they're cutting some more up there but anyway that's where the new culvert's gonna go I guess I'll unload mine yeah there's that dam stuff there they're putting in there's some already in place where it slides in together and interlocks huh shove her into the hole Ah, you stupid machine. Don't zoom in. Anyway, it's a nice fall afternoon. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paces. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, so something like that, huh? One. So these are uh, eight foot high in diameter. So it's gonna be a pretty big culvert. Well, you can see the creek crossing back there. So I'll go turn this truck around, back it in here and we'll unload that uh, piece I've got right by the rest of them. So here we are, crossing a nice little old river valley. It's like, hey, I should just make a video of it because you just don't see these every day, everywhere. The other side, I don't know if we can see as much. River's low this year. I've actually made a video here before, hauled a, a big old hoe in here and they pulled out some stuff, but anyway. That's better than the other things you see in an oil field road as far as that's concerned. Okay, here we go up around the corner, pulling a low boy today.